Curious about the price of a Magic Online card? Try our searchable price guide on the right sidebar of any mtgoacademy.com page. Hey everybody, it's Chris, MTGO's Rick Start, and we are here for the final round. <clears throat> uh, this is against Goblin Char Belcher, so the plan is Mold of Force, which uh, I didn't need to do. So, okay, lead on Tropical Island. Um, Philippa is an extremely uh, practiced uh, player at Goblin Char Belcher. This is basically a crapshoot. He has a pretty good, um, hmm, that's unfortunate. Um, let me think about this for a second. Anyways, he has a very good rate um, of uh, turn one victories. Well, I guess what I need to do then is brainstorm the force and the V-click onto the top of the deck so that I'll draw them. Oh, well, hmm, well, if I force this, he has no mana floating, I don't think, huh. The question, like, is he sandbagging here? Like, could he have, um, he doesn't have enough to activate a Char Belcher. I mean, what could his two cards be? Um, I, like, could they be, I mean, he could cast a Char Belcher if he, he was holding, like, Lotus Petal Char Belcher, I guess. I, then he's got then he's waiting to find the mana to activate it. Like that's like the worst thing he could have with those two cards. So I think if I counter this that I have time. He has a second pact of negation. Well. Alright. Well, okay, at least I uh, drew into a second force and a Trigon Predator. So he has seven cards, three black mana floating. All right, so now he's at five. He needs to get to seven to cast and activate Char Belcher. It's a very risky play for him if he didn't have, like, I mean, a two pack negations. How about that? Um, I assume he's trying to find empty the Warrens. He has one in the sideboard, so if he can get to any of this stuff. <clears throat> but uh, but now he can't win off Empty the Warrens unless he can get to where he can pay for two packs. That's not going to happen. Um... Well, okay, I could force Demonic Consultation. He has one card in hand. Don't know what it is. How many... 
Okay, he can't win if empty the Warren, so he has to be going for Tar Belcher. There's no other explanation. He has enough mana to activate it if he gets it. And he has uh, four of them in the deck. So the odds that he whiffs off this are extremely low. So I don't know if, if Char Belcher could be the last card in his hand and he could be trying to... But the, Okay, if Char Belcher is the last card in his hand, then his Demonic Consultation is going to try to find one of his last two packs, in which case he wins. Um, if Demonic Consultation, or sorry, if Char Belcher is not the last card in his hand, then he would be Demonic Consultationing for that, but presumably he knows I have Force, so the last card in his hand I would expect to be that anyways, but I think that it's right to Force that. No, it was the last card in his hand, so it doesn't matter. He would have gotten um, the uh, the Pact of Negation off of that anyways. So, um, the uh, post-board, um, I expect he'll bring in Mental Misstep maybe to deal with, like, Spell Pierce. Um... Not really sure what else he might bring in. Goblin Welder, potentially, um, to take care of a... Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, this is a stupid matchup anyways, and frankly, it's kind of a stupid deck. I mean, Phillip's good with it. You have to practice, I understand that, but it's a, it's a goofball deck. Um, there's not really much I can do. Um, I guess that hand there had a surprising number of decisions relative to normal. Um... Well, let's see. Uh, what do I want? I guess, I mean, all the additional counter magic. And in case I make it to a second turn, Stony Silence. I can cut Swords to Plowshares. Chase is way too slow. I can cut that. I've cut two blue, adding four blue, so force is still live. Um, I cut two more. Guess I cut um, nine of the reliquaries. I'll leave this, it helps close out a game. Draws me into more counter magic in the event that I can make it through the initial onslaught. Um, do I possibly want Nature's Claim? Might want that more than this, anyways. Um, Alright, yeah, let's do that. All right, well, here it goes. Well, this hand can't... This hand, the only thing I can do with this hand is cast the Brainstorm. I can't even, if I survive to the second turn, be assured to cast the Stony Silence. This hand has no mana. It looks like we're heading, well, I guess that's better than nothing. Gonna have to hope that somehow he had a slow hand. Not imagining that that's the case, but. I hate going out to this deck. If I do, this is just, uh, yeah, this is just miserable. It's it's just it's just all in the draw. I mean, again, you I, I accept that you have to be practiced to be able to play this deck, and I'm not, you know, poo pooing that, but um, 
Well, let's see. I mean, is there any chance I really need to burn this on a lion's eye diamond? Um, I guess it depends. Like, if he doesn't have any other mana... <clears throat> then eh, still got seven cards in hand but he's not going to use lion's eye diamond except maybe cast wheel of fortune which seems like it wouldn't even be good for him now um all right he's going to pass the turn interesting Let's see. So this turn, I have the option of a no. I'm, I'm going to revise my opinion a little bit here. That this is probably had the most decisions I've ever had in a game against Tar Belcher. Um, I can leave up the annul, or I can meddling mage something. Um, I can meddling mage. I could meddling mage empty the warrens, or I could meddling mage the char belcher. But I right now I have something that can counter the char belcher, so I think I'm just going to. What might he have brought in? Any creature kill here? I don't think so. Um. I'm not sure. I'm I'm thinking that if he couldn't beat this annul last turn, then leaving the annul up seems like the smart. Well, I'm never going to be able to cast this meddling mage then unless I get another mana. If I know he couldn't beat the annul, hmm. Yeah. See, he has a lot of ways to counter that annul. Far more than he does to deal with. What could he tinker for? Oh, he could just tinker for the Char Belcher. He's not. Doesn't have anything else going on. <sighs> If he didn't think he, if I if he couldn't beat the annul, then my guess is that he has to do Char Belcher, or he thought I was going to annul whatever his only mana source was. He may be sitting on like double dark writ, and he thinks I'm going to annul the Chrome Mox or something. I mean, yeah, there, there's things here, but um, I don't know. God, the safe play is if if I think he can't beat the annul, it's just to not play anything here, isn't it? But then I'm just getting nowhere. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play the mage. If I had another colored mana source, I don't think I would do this. The problem is that I, I don't, delaying a turn doesn't actually get me any closer because all I have then is the strip mine. burning through all of his Gitaxian probes. Okay, he's going to do a small empty the Warrens. That's unfortunate. I don't know. He was representing... Yeah, I don't know. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's see. Next, this turn will do eight. Next turn he would do. I'm oh, sorry, he'll do eight, and then next turn he would do six. 
and the following turn yeah I don't know let's just keep doing this what what else would I name it's like channel possibly <laughs> I don't know um, I don't want to be able to do another empty the Warrens his only other win is the one channel for is he still playing Emrakul? he used to no okay um, oh that was in his show and tell deck okay it wasn't a weird board plan that was just a different deck um, Do I have anything else that, eh. See, he's not going to get anywhere with... If he had another Empty the Warrens, it's pretty piddly, so it doesn't even really seem like the thing I want to name. Um, so... I already have Charbelcher named, I guess, like, Wheel of Fortune would be okay. Um, I mean, those are his only wins, right? Empty the Warrens and Charbelcher. And I guess that's what I'll name, but it's a little late. So this will put me to 11. Next turn I'll be taking 5. I'm going to 6. And then the following turn taking 2. Do I barely survive this? Maybe. I mean, if he has nothing else, uh, green, blue, one, Trigon Predator. So he'll be at 10. I still have the Annul up. Okay, he's not going to attack this time. So I have a Noble Hierarch. I'm going to cast that. Oh, he's got a misstep. Fair enough. Okay. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if I attack with Trigon, then his swing is going to be for 6, leaving him with 6 guys and putting me at 5. Yeah, I think I'm still okay there. I'll leave the Mana Vault since it's dealing him damage. So yeah, he would have been at four, and he would have been dying next draw step, potentially. Well, you would die next if you did that. I mean, just crash into the meddling mages. Well, 
Well, I don't think there's anything he can actually do here that wins him the game. Um, he certainly doesn't. What could he, he has the mana. That's not an instant. And I'm being overly cautious here, but I mean, he doesn't have his dark grit. He has like summoners packed for what? He can't even cast anything with what he has. So. Just uh, swing for, well, it makes no difference if I'm going to swing with two, I have to swing with one. No, it's the same night, and then he loses to that. So, yeah, whatever, okay. All right, so there wasn't any goofy tricks there. Um, all right. Um, still think that that's right. We're going to stick with it. Um, well, it has force. <laughs> it has nothing else, but I think it is probably keepable. Again, it, this, it just all comes down to luck of the draw, and if I try to mold to find force, I may not have a playable hand, so I think I'm just going to keep it. He mold to six. Well, in hindsight, I mean, whatever happens here, I'm going to say this, that I got some really good games in. No, I should have played the Nature's Claim. Hopefully that doesn't kill me. Um, again, against Charbelcher, I, I, you know, don't usually have awesome games, but um, I definitely did here. I guess um, get the Stoneforge Mystic out. Keeping up Nature's Claim unlikely to be good if he just goes off, so I guess we'll do that. Outer Skull. Okay, he hasn't done anything on his first two turns. He mulled a six on the play. Now, I mean, he's under no pressure. So he can wait for the critical turn. Maybe this is what he thought the critical turn was when I had tapped out. But, of course, the first turn, unless he could have got something in those first two pieces that he needed. So he's going to exile an Elvish Spirit Guide and cast a Saul Ring. And a Mox Opal. And a Lotus Petal. That gives him one, two, three, four mana. Um. He's going to cast the Char Belcher here. Um, so obviously I will force it. And he will have the Pact. And presumably he will have a Lion's Eye Diamond in hand. No? Oh, he's got a Mental Misstep. Yeah, that's the only thing that makes sense. Because he knows I can Nature's Claim that Char Belcher. So... He has to figure, he has to have a mental misstep. But I mean, the reality is, if he has the mental misstep, that's game. Um, I don't believe I can do anything to that. Um, you know, he's on zero land, so he can't possibly whiff. Like, um, I mean, that's basically all there is to it. If he has that, then he has the three mana. Um, so I'll get a trop. And. I mean, it doesn't matter what I try to kill. If I try to kill the Char Belcher or if I try to kill his mana, that would activate it. Either way, if he missteps, that's game. Here it is. Nope, he has a second Pact of Negation. Oh, he's just going to activate it in the upkeep step. 
Yep. All right. Well, that's how it ends. A crappy end to the tournament, but I will say at least that middle game was quite interesting. Um, very disappointed to be going out um, this way. But um, there it is. So um, the end of Classic ends with uh, me losing three games in a row, and uh, not the way I wanted it to happen. But uh, sometimes that's the breaks.